back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video I'll be reviewing episode 142 of Boruto Naruto Next Generations. I'm going to be re ep uh, reviewing episode 143 uh, tomorrow but I'm just going to just pre-record this and then join it together and then I'll make uh, the video about like what I said in the Black Clover 239 review. Um, yeah. Uh, be sorry for the last week's, uh, wasn't there was a last week's episode review because I had lost my motivation of doing YouTube, I was very ill as well, and that's it. Oh yeah, before we start this video, uh, subscribe to my podcast channel, it's like me, Delex, and Ko Huga, and some other content anime YouTubers, always on there. I think it'll be another one, maybe this week, or next week, we don't know, uh, I can't do this one this week, but... Um, I'm going to try to get to the other one as well. Um, yeah, okay. This episode starts out uh, when Boruto trying to find some, some information who was the, what's it, the person who uh, stabbed K uh, Kukuji, Kokuji, yeah, Kokuji, I think. Um, yeah, uh, stabs out and he has a panic attack, but it doesn't look like Kakuji uh, was bleeding out. I think he was completely faking it. I think he's still with the marching marching bandits trying to bail him out. And there is another man there is marching bandits inside the prison. I think there is two in there. There's one in the one in the cave and there's one the redhead. I think that's a marching bandit as well. Um because he looks like uh the guy who stabbed if you want me to do the stab video, uh, smash the like button if you want that. Um, then, Miski uh, tells Boruto, Boruto, oh, the, there's the stolen key card. The only way that get the only way, uh, Kokuji got stabbed is, was the wooden key card, key card, and the only prison cell got let out was Miski and Boruto cell, and the three inmates was standing behind the doctors and they had the key card but when the key cards uh, uh when the uh, doctor like stood up the key card was there but it could be a swap to a fake one though but we don't know yet <laughs> we don't know but um then after that uh the redhead i forgot his name sorry <laughs> the redhead uh, takes Boruto and Miski to the fitness bit fitness room area and all that and then you see um and then Bartu asking for the this fat dude uh weaknesses because he's keeping getting away in Aaron Saitra's mission and his mission. Uh, I don't know forgotten all these names by the way, uh but I know me most of these but I'm gonna try try to remember them in uh tomorrow's review as well. Um yeah, you're trying to fit, and then he has a test his sphere of guts. He has to take a light bulb from an electric light bulb tower. But when he gets to the light bulb tower, there are scars there, a uh, flashlight. Because when, when you take the light bulb out, there's a alarm going off. And then he, because he memory the what's it, the Lord, the Lord guy of who looks as a prison, uh, put a fake seal on him, and he had to use his lightning jutsu to get away. Because he doesn't want to get caught and doesn't want to be going to that little other cell, um, like a special cell and all that. But yeah, uh, and then he has tell, and then the guy, the fat dude, tells him about the weaknesses and that, and that's just it. Uh, I'm gonna jump up, jump away to the next uh, review. Oh. Today we are reviewing episode 143, and yeah, this is actually a pretty good video. Video now the redhead has been finally being caught for Philip's sakes now. Um but there is the other two mar margin beam bandits still in prison, the one in the cave and one with Bort to Kakuchi. And I'm probably gonna do a split video with the one in the cave soon. Okay. Um Okay, this the first thing it starts out, uh Bart and Miski trying to find out who's done it. And then it talks over and talks over. And then the redhead dude suspects the quiet one, man the big fella dude, protecting the flowers like flowers like last week's episode. Um and then 
After a boratory scheme, the other two was busy looking at the cell uh, cages. The redhead quickly swapped his wooden tank to the big, the massive dude and that. And then, uh, what's it, uh, the Kakuji picks it up and saws the wooden tag. Um, then after that, uh, everyone suspects uh, the big fella, but Boruto did, but Miski didn't. And yeah, really. Um, and then um, the red haired dude is like, Kakuji is the marching bandits. And, and Miski Watch is like, How do you know that Kakuji um, kept his uh, past, um, past uh, quiet and a secret and all that? And then the big fella punches him, and then he finds the wooden tag, and then he gives it to the thing, the law, uh, to go to the. the was the other cells and that, and that like where's the other Mushu Mando in the cave and that um, then uh, you was it skip over to the uh, was it the big fat Della do like this bad reporting to, to the Lord saying um, uh, where what does if it is um Boruto and Kakuji are good friends or things that y- yeah they are like the in back in the past they are but that's it. I'm sorry I got a cold and I'm pretty ill. And then it then that's it really to be honest. And, it was like a big you know, a big conflict. conflict. I know next week's episode or the week after the city next episode it's gonna be a massive one. And I think there's like 11 episodes in the prison. I think there's like 3 or 4 in the prison so much. So much. Uh, no, 11 epi- it's 11 episodes worth going on. Um, 9 episodes in the prison. No, it's maybe 4. We've got maybe got four, 4 or 5 episodes left in the prison. We'll see how it plays out. I'm going to do a video about the guy in the prison and all of that. Um, yeah. Uh, but if you like this type of review, uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and see you in the next video. Peace.